Hi, this is Aaron with Zolo Tech. Uh, today we have another Mophie case for you. Uh, if you watched my previous, uh, any of the previous videos, we showed the uh, Mophie hard case for the iPhone 3G. Also the uh, Mophie juice pack. Now I wanted to make a comment about the juice pack just because uh, I haven't kind of given you an update on that. <clears throat> the uh, juice pack is probably my favorite iPhone accessory. Uh, aside from something like a, um, you know, a dock or that sort of thing, the juice pack has saved me probably four times, five times now, just because I forgot to plug in the iPhone. And maybe it's just knowing that that's there, but uh, that thing is awesome. It's worth every penny. So uh, I wanted to show you today another Mophie product. It's the hard case for the iPod Nano, the new fourth gen. <clears throat> so here we have, uh, this is how it comes. It looks like it's recyclable material going uh, with Apple's green theme, oh, that sort of thing. You know, no big deal, but, uh, well, it is a big deal, but, you know, no big uh, deal in the packaging. Very simple, plain, and, uh, you know, the minimal minimalist theme that Apple tends to go to. So here we have the hard case. Uh, let's see what it says. Made of the highest quality polycarbonate, the Mophie hard case offers the ultimate protection and still shows... Uh, or still shows off your iPod's good looks. So, and then we have French, Italian, all these different languages. Um, and uh, you can check these out on mophie.com. And uh, you can't really see that, but all their stuff always says Mophie loves you. Uh, just kind of a cool little thing they do. So let's go ahead and open this. I have to say I really like this packaging. Very simple. You know, no blister packs. That, that stuff's a pain in the neck. So... Uh, this opens. Now this is just like the same packaging from the uh, iPhone 3G. It's got this little uh, zip lock. So if you want to throw it back in here, you have a couple cases. I don't know, you know. So we'll go ahead and slide this out of here. And uh, that's it. So let's set this aside here. And uh, here's the case. So real simple. Polycarbonate plastic. Uh, I can see where it says Mophie right there. And uh, you know, hopefully you can see that. I do have the macro turned on, and hopefully the white balance isn't too bad here, but um, it says Mophie. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot in here. It looks real similar to the uh, the iPhone 3G case. The only thing that scares me about these is trying to open them. Okay, so I just ran my, my nail down here, and it popped it open, so no big deal. That's it. So let's try not to touch the inside uh, too much. So let's see, we just have the case, and then we have this piece of paper. There's nothing in there, you know, just says Mophie. And we'll uh, set this over here. So here's the inside. And now I do have the iPhone, uh, a uh, product red version. So we'll use that. Uh, right here you have a little bit of a lip, and that is to clip into this one here. So you have a little bit of a lip. Uh, the molding is, is is excellent on these. Did a, uh, did a couple of reviews on some other cases, and uh, I would have to say this is uh, probably the best so far, molding wise. Um, now is that a crack, like a hairline crack? As I say that, <laughs> uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a little bit of a scratch, and I think it's just a scratch actually. Uh, it looks like it. I don't know. Eh, it's a little bit of a scratch, maybe. Uh, I don't think that's from manufacturing, though. It almost looks like a little molding thing. Could be from manufacturing. Uh, but, as I say, it's the best molding, which it really is. Uh, as far as, you know, there's no lips. There's nothing that's going to scratch your iPhone, iPod, in any of these cases so far. Uh, yeah, nothing there. Now, they do have these... Let's see. Let's take a look. So, they do have these two little holes here. Maybe that's for molding? Maybe they have a strap? I don't know if you can see that. Maybe you can see it up against this a little bit better. There's two little, let's see them right here, two little holes right there. So I get the iPod ready to go. Now on some of the other cases, one of the big issues is the bottom is not exposed enough, and it looks like it's going to be here, but let's uh, let's see. So this fits in there real snug. That's not going to go anywhere. And let's go ahead and put the front on here. No, I have a little bit of, a little bit of, just use this terry cloth towel. It's not going to scratch anything, so there we go screen's nice and clean and let's set this on here like this so you can see clip down oh, it looks like I slid it out of the way a little bit I'm trying to be real careful while I clip this in okay all right well it's a little bit slippery maybe I should do it this way yeah it looks like that might work a little bit better so that's in there 
There we go. And you can hear that clips in pretty tight. Um, I mentioned with the uh, the hard case for the iPhone 3G, I've uh, been playing with it for a little bit, uh, works really well. Uh, looks like it snaps so hard that if you drop it, it's not going to come out. I would imagine you have to throw it into the ground or something to get it to come out. So uh, it feels the same with this. It's not easy. I actually, in order to get the other case apart, um, you could use a coin and pop the corner, but that's kind of a little bit iffy. So I used a, a flat, a flat, uh, flathead screwdriver from a uh, glasses kit, you know, an optical kit. So what you could do is just put it in here real careful and pop along the edge, and that works fine. Uh, as long as you don't nick your iPhone, uh, that's the one thing you got to be really careful. So uh, let's take a look at this case. So we've got this in here real secure. The other one was just the same. It's not going anywhere. Uh, you know, there's no shake around. Molded really well. Uh, this I do like. You can, I don't know if you can see, there's a very minimal, very, very minimal lip right in here. Uh, it, so this looks like it's probably going to work with any dock connector you've got, any, any, uh, you know, any dock, and you're not going to have to worry about taking it out of the case to set it in there. That's the biggest problem with a lot of these. In fact, this is my wife's iPhone, or uh, iPod Nano, and one of the cases we've had on it before, she doesn't like because it doesn't work in the dock. There's just too much, um, there's just too much of a lip here. So you have to, you know, it works fine with the iPod connector in the, uh, 24 pin connector, but outside of that's no good. So let's go ahead and turn it on. This is completely exposed, which is fine. Um, they wear very well as long as you take care of them. Uh, you can see it's scrolling. You know, it doesn't get in the way. It's completely exposed. It's molded almost, I would say, it's perfect. I mean, just looking at it, I can't really see where, uh, I mean, you have, uh, you know, maybe maybe a couple of thousands, not even, in here. Um, so you're probably pretty good as far as that. You can see in the top, I don't know if you can see that, let's see. Mm. It's kind of hard to tell. There's a little bit of, uh, left over from molding, but that's just in the plastic. It's not going to touch your iP or, uh, iPod. I keep wanting to say iPhone. It's not going to touch your iPod at all. Um, you can see they left this little piece out, so you can click the hold switch, and they left plenty of room to do that. So that's that's nice, a nice feature as well. You can kind of see it's cut out here. Drops down, cuts out, and that's cool too. That was a really nice design. So... Um, I don't know if you can see that. They kind of reinforce. There's a little, couple molding lines, but it looks like they reinforce for the clip, or I don't know if that's added after or what. Uh, I'm not really sure. But uh, you can see there's there's molding lines. They go here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a couple molding lines, and that's not a big deal. I mean, this is really, uh, you know, it shows the color of the iPod, and that's the best thing. I've looked at some other cases, and I don't like when they cover up the color because you want to see the color. Um, at least I do, anyway. So, uh, as you can see, you know, the Mophie stands out really nice. It looks good. Fits with the iPod and the colors on it. And, the, and actually, the, the lettering. I'm not sure what text they're using or what, um, what font they're using, but uh, Apple tends to use Helvetica. And, uh, you know, it kind of matches. I don't know if it's the same font. It looks pretty close, though. Um, so, that's it. I mean, you can see the... This is real clear through here. Uh, if I show you a video, you know, you're, you're going to see it just fine. Oh, don't TV shows. I think I put a uh, movie on here or something. Yeah, Wally. -E. So I put that on here. You can see, you know, real clear. It's playing well. Um, it's not going to get in the way. You may have a little bit of a glare on it, but no more so than you would with the glass that's normally on there. So uh, this is definitely a really nice case. It's 19.99 on uh, Mophie.com. And uh, that's probably a pretty fair price for most of these type of cases. They're in the uh, 15 to $25 range, usually, for a clear molded case. So, uh, you know, oh, whoops, I want to swipe like it was a uh, iPod Touch or iPhone. Uh, but, you know, as you can see, it's it's your basic case, um, but it's really nice. It's really well crafted. Other than I said, there's a little bit of a scratch or something down here. And I don't know what the deal is with that. I, don't, I can't feel it at all. It looks like it's almost a crack in the... Uh, a crack in the the molding but it's not it's not even all the way through it's I'm not really sure what the deal is it's like right in here uh, it does not stand out unless you're really crazy about that it does not stand out much at all um, so it's not that big of a deal I'm obviously just being uh, overly conscious just because it's a review so 
that's it. Um, let me show you the package again. This is the Mophie hard case from uh, Mophie.com. And uh, this is Aaron with Zolotech. We'll see you next time.